this is a video about iOS um, 13 beta 3 um, and it's specifically or toward the iPhone SE. Uh, first of all, should you install this beta? Um, first of all, it was 3.1 gigabytes in size. So this is actually a large um, uh, beta to be installing. Um, plus, it, because of its size, uh, there's a lot of errors in it and it's not really very secure yet. And there are issues. Uh, one of the biggest problems I had when I installed it was that um, I opened one app and it just continued would close over and over again. So it wasn't even usable at all. Um, if you're going to install it, um, one thing is you need to go back up your phone before you do it. You need to open up iTunes and you make sure that it says on there to install to desktop. You want to install it to your computer. Um, secondly, you need to check to see whether or not you've already done this before and whether or not you have a password on there or not. If you have a password on there, this, this check encrypt password, uh, you need to know that password. If you don't know that password, you will not be able to put that update back on again later. Um, you absolutely have to know that password. If you don't know the password, uncheck that check mark. And then, um, and then, and then, do you back up? That will help you a lot, right there. Um, another thing is with the iOS 13, um, a lot of the things with the SE just really aren't that great. Um, the emojis that they have on there are not live emojis. They're not using your camera. They don't. Um, they don't do anything. Um, they're not really all that usable and then uh, it just gives you a manual thing to go in and, and set up these em emojis and after you set up your emoji um, it asks you if you want to use it on all, your emoji on everything which is kind of dumb because it's not even a live emoji uh, I don't know anybody would want to use a non live emoji but anyway and they're called emoji stickers um, also on here, uh, the dark mode isn't really all that great. It's not worth going to put iOS 13 on here. Uh, it has one thing on the battery thing that, that learns your battery usage, um, but it, I, it, the way I use my battery, it didn't really act that much different. Uh, there is a thing on there for editing photos. Um, most of your photo apps you have now are, will, will do the same thing. And so you really don't have a need for it. It's kind of it's a little bit convenient because you can sort through things a little bit better. Um, and the main thing I used it for was flipping photos around and stuff like that. But um, that wasn't still all that great. It has one feature on there that you can um, automatically on calls you don't know who they are. It'll it'll, it'll just send them to voicemail immediately. Uh, that might be useful, but um, it's not going to be very useful if your apps are closing if you open them which is not real good yet. So it's just way too early at this point to be installing um, the uh, iOS 13 Beta 3. Uh, there's just too many bugs in it for, for it to be useful. Also, uh, not only, um, I have super fast internet. I have gigabit internet. So I have one of the fastest internet in, in the country. So installing this thing with three gigabytes is a lot. Is a lot. Uh, but with my fast uh, internet, it's not. If you have a slow internet, you really are going to have problems. And then, in addition to that, um, when um, you install this, um, the when you go to do a bat, when you when you want, to, if you want, if you decide afterwards you made a mistake and you want to go back to your other operating system, okay, here's what you're going to have to do. First of all, you can't just go to iTunes and, and click re, um, to 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 reinstall backup. Unfortunately, I tried that and it just did not work. I tried it three or four times, it did not work. I had low power mode on, I turned that off, I tried everything, nothing would work. So finally, after all of that failed, I finally got to the point that I had to um, um, just do a manual reinstall of the system. But it's not just a reset, this is actually a, a, a reinstall where you're resetting the whole system and it'll go back to the 12.3 again. Um, and when you do that, 
you have to hold certain keys down in order to do it and do it in that way. Um, and you have to look up those on the internet. I, I don't remember what they were off the top of my head. Um, but anyway, after you do those things and it goes into reset mode and you've got your phone connected to iTunes, um, it'll go through and it'll, it'll do a reset of the phone. And then afterwards it says, do you want to set up your phone as a new phone or do you want to install your backup? This is where you pick out uh, reinstall from backup. And then if you have a password, you better know the password because if you don't know the password, you won't be putting out the update on there. And so you won't be able to do anything. Um, if you have unchecked that thing and, and um, the password thing and you don't need a password, then you can, you can install the password hopefully there. I had a password on mine, but I knew my password. Um, at least I figured it out anyway. Um, but um, you can, if, if you don't have your password, you will, uh, there's no way to get a password from any place at all, ever, ever, ever. So you will never, ever be able to back up your phone. So that is really super, super important. Uh, that that's done correctly. At that point, you can go ahead and um, um, to put on there install from backup, and you can go ahead and um, and, and place your backup on. Um, and then it goes ahead and it, it will at that point uh, put your phone back to where it was before. Um, and so now you'll have all your pictures and stuff back again, and you'll have all your data back, and you'll you'll be back in the good old place of, of 12.3.1 again. Um, and so, anyway, I did all of that. I had put on the 13.1 uh, Beta 3. I tested it out. Uh, I didn't like it. Uh, it was too buggy for me, and I got rid of it, and I went back to 12.3, and it's nice having things that work, just work again. Um, so, I mean, it will come later. I mean, it will get better over time, and um, it will continually get better, but at this point, um, it's just not really worth it. Having programs blow up is just it's just too buggy to, to really mess with it all. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Um, and so if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and thanks a lot.